Hi, I'm David Fisher, writer-director of this new vision of Nosferatu. And I've always felt that masters of old told these stories the best. And that's why we want to resurrect these legendary tales back from the grave, where high-tech meets the classics of horror for a new generation of fans and die-hard ones as well. And now we invite you to join us to bring back the original and greatest vampire tale ever told, Nosferatu. The iconic image of Max Schreck's menacing Count Orlok still lives on as the first true vampire tale ever filmed. And there's only one man today who could play him. Hi, I'm Doug Jones. You, know, you might know me from all kinds of movies, like the Hellboy movies, where I played Abe Sapien, the Blue Fish Guy, or the Fantastic Four sequel, in which I was the Silver Surfer. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth, I was the Fawn and the Pale Man. Journalists often ask me, what's a character that you haven't played yet that you would love to? And my answer has been this. Nosferatu. We have a lot of experience making a movie like this on a small budget, as we've already done it before. A while back we did another classic masterpiece of horror called The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, in which we pioneered a brand new technique never before seen in the history of filmmaking. By combining elements such as backgrounds and sets scanned from the original film, we were able to shoot modern day actors on green screen, then digitally layer them into imagery taken from a movie filmed nearly a hundred years ago. We coined the phrase visual remix because it's similar to remixing a song, where something new and different is added, such as costumes, music, and dialogue that never existed in the silent version, while still retaining the true spirit of the original. We decided to use the same process again on Nosferatu because one, the process works, and two, there's just an immense amount of uh, advancement in technology since we shot the last film. And we've already gotten underway with an amazing team of artists, including Oscar-nominated effects wizard Mike Elizaldi, who's already created Doug's makeup for this frightening new vision of Nosferatu. My name is Mike Elizaldi. I design creatures and prosthetics and makeup effects and robotics at my company, Spectral Motion. We've done both of the Hellboy movies. We've done uh, X-Men and Fantastic Four movies. I've worked with Doug Jones for over 12 years now. So. My role in this project is to create uh, a prosthetic makeup on Doug Jones to create the persona uh, that is an adaptation of the original Nosferatu. It's one of the first images that I saw as a child that really stuck with me. I just thought it was super cool. I thought that's, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen and uh, that's why I do what I do, I guess. <laughs> but creating a film like this is a daunting challenge and you'll never see anything like it from a Hollywood studio. So here are some of the production elements we need your support for to make it happen. Soundstage rental, costumes, crew, casting, camera, sound, and visual effects. Crowdfunding becomes, for me personally, a, a really important part of this type of filmmaking. Uh, this is an independent film, for sure. And what excites me about crowdfunding, too, is being able to directly involve the fans. So, what's in it for you? Well, a whole bunch of stuff. If you look around the page here somewhere, you're going to see a whole bunch of incentives. All kinds of fun things, signed things, participatory things that I myself will indeed be involved with. We want to both honor the masters and bring these legendary characters back out of the shadows and reintroduce them to a modern day audience. Playing Nosferatu has always been a dream of mine. I now plead to you to help that dream come true and to partner with us in making this classic tale come to life in a whole new modern way. And I get to play him. <laughs>